Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Tara with Mayhem Crafty Cards, and welcome to day three, but I'm going to kind of recap with day two as well. And at the end, I'll recap all three um, of the releases for the Rabbit Hole Designs. Sorry about my squeaky chair. I'm hoping you get any one soon. So, let me show you day two real quick, and then I'll jump to day three. So day two was the caffeinated giraffe. And this guy's hilarious. I love him. He cracks me up. So we have hashtag giraffinated exercise, the stretching for my cup count, no tiki after this giraffe, tall please. This giraffe needs the whole... Why can't I pronounce that word? Anyways, you get your um, coffee element. And then also with this release, we had the weird science stencil which is pretty awesome. I love the stencil. <clears throat> As you can see, I have used it and my cats have stepped on it, which is, you know, great. But here is the card that I made with that. So I just um, used three of my favorite purple blends, which is Milled Lavender, Shaded Lilac, and Wilted Violet to ink blend, <clears throat> excuse me, on this background. I did paper piece his robe <laughs> and his slippers. And I colored him using uh, my Zig watercolor, my real brush pens. Um, and then I just heat embossed, exercised, just stretching for my cup count on some vellum, wrapped it around, and that was it. Easy peasy, super quick and easy cards. So let's talk about day three. This is one of my favorite stencils. I love the back alley <clears throat> feel of this. Now, I've made several cards with this, and I'm also going to show you the, um, see, you guys can't see it that well. Let me peel it off here. There we go. Now you can see it a little bit better. Let me zoom in a little bit. So, the back alley is not like other brick stencils. It's got, like, these little ridges in here, so it actually looks like a back alley. So, this was my card that I posted today on Instagram and on the rabbit hole page. So this one is a slim line. It says, caffeine gives me an extra bounce. And I added, oops, let me zoom you guys back out. Sorry, guys. I added a slider element to give her some extra bounce. Now, I also have another one that I will be posting here very soon. This one is on textured paper. So I used a lot of different colors um, for the bricks. And then my sentiment is down under before caffeine. So I thought this would also work well with like a Christmas stencil. So I grabbed, or Christmas theme. So I grabbed some red cardstock that I had and I used white pigment ink on it. And I just kind of went through and it almost looks like a chimney. Well, it does to me. But you can see all these little details um, that the stencil gives you. So there's that background and I've made a lot because I am just in love with this stencil. Here's another one that I did. This one I use a little softer colors to do. And here's a little bit more of the orangey, you know, darkish colors. And then here is the stamp set. So we have Down Under Before Caffeine, hashtag Bouncy Juice. Um, feeling Punchy Before the Cup of Joey. And Caffeine Gives Me Extra Bounce. So this was a super fun one to color. Um, this, Like I said, this was for day three. So I'm going to show you both stencils real quick, and I'm going to be using my blender, my cottontail blender, blah, 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 blending brushes with those. So I have two pieces of Bristol Smooth, which is what I like to use for my um, ink blending. Now this one still has some uh, pixie spray on the back of it. I am out of pixie spray, and it makes me sad. See, you can see in the, this is the beauty of having animals in your craft room. <laughs> Their hair is everywhere. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do this one. So I'm just using that same purple blend so you can see the, um, the stencil. So again, I have milled lavender, shaded lilac, and molded violet. So let me grab my brushes and we will get started. So I'm gonna start off with the milled lavender and work my way down to the wilted violet. I probably should be cleaning my brushes pretty soon, but you know, I just love them so much. I need to order more. 
So <clears throat> I like, excuse me, I like using the Bristol Smooth because it really does give it a nice blend. There's no, um, it just goes on so smoothly and these brushes, they help a lot. So that was the Milled Lavender and I'm just going to go right into the Shaded Lilac. I got to be kind of careful because my Pixie Spray is not as sticky as it was. And then we're going to go right into the Wilted Violet. Now this one I do change brushes for because it is a, you know, much brighter purple. But, I mean, with these stencils, you literally have a card front in like seconds. I mean, it really does not take that long with these awesome stencils. And you can put them, they will line up for a slimline card. That's exactly what I did with the um, back alley stencil. I lined it up so it was a slimline card. So let's peel this off, the big peel and reveal. And you can see it's just awesome. I mean, look at that. Seconds. I mean, there's your card front. So now let me go into back alley and I'm just going to grab a couple colors um, that I used. I'll set this guy aside so I can get him cleaned. So I like to use like frayed burlap. Um, where's my other one? I did use weathered wood on one. And I really liked how that turned out. Let's grab some crackling campfire. And I want to add a green. Now I really liked using, there it is. I liked using, um, oh my gosh, words, Tara. Peel paint. But I just grabbed shabby shutters. So I'm going to go ahead and move all this to the side grab my piece of Bristol and like I said I always use Bristol for ink blending I, I just I love the texture of it so this one has a little bit of pixie spray left too so I'm gonna have to be really careful and these are both six by six stencils so you have a good bit of space for them so I'm gonna start with frayed burlap and I like this one because it has like a good brown texture and you know what I'm going to also grab rusty hinge because it has that you know, obviously a rusted look to it. So let me find my browns. Oranges. Okay. So I'm just going to go in, take a little bit. And what I like to do is kind of do a pattern with it. <clears throat> I don't go straight across my stencil because bricks aren't, you know, always the same texture or color. So and I just add it a little bit to the edges. I'm sorry if my camera's shaking. I am an aggressive ink blender, which I shouldn't be, but especially with these brushes, like I can really pack on some color. So that was frayed burlap. Let's go in with some rusty hinge. Ooh, see, I picked up too much of that. But I just like to place the color in like random places. I mean, that's how bricks are. You don't always get the same color pattern. I'm blending my fingers. See, you guys can see my pixie spray is not uh, sticking very well. Okay, so I did manage to find my peel paint. So I'm going to go in with my peeled paint and I'm just going to do the same thing. Just put it in a couple different colors and then I'll go back through with that brush corduroy again and kind of fill everything back in. Now this wasn't, you know, a good, um, not a good, um, this was a bigger piece of Bristol Smooth. So let's go back in with that frayed burlap and we will just hit, kind of go over everything just to blend it all together. And it kind of just gives it that shadowy look. Big peel and reveal. Dun, dun, dun. So there is the back alley stencil and you can do so many backgrounds with this and it literally takes no time at all. So this is why I like using stencils. If you're, you know, in need of a quick background, you stamp your image, color it. Like I have um, a lot of these guys stamped and, you know, partially colored because I like to do them all, you know, while I'm just sitting and relaxing. But this release was fantastic. 
Um, I'm going to be linking everything from day one to day three in my description box below. So be sure to check that out. Let me know what you guys' favorite part of the release was. What was your favorite uh, stamp or stencil or both? So until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.